the Katima Air Park on Martha's Vineyard. It's a super fun little uh, grass airport. Got a great restaurant on one end, really cool beach on the other end. Uh, check it out if you missed that. Now we're gonna go ahead to another really cool little airport called Goodspeed. It's right on the Connecticut River in East Hatem, Connecticut. Super cool little airport, really fun approach, kind of short runway, so right on the river. You come in over this sort of rotating bridge, which is pretty unique in itself. Really fun little downtown area right next to it. Uh, they've got this great musical theater. So it should be a pretty quick little flight, uh, only about 75 miles to go. But we do have some weather building up right now. Uh, currently we're just flying VFR here at 6500. Uh, they've got some light precip up ahead, some moderate, uh, and looks like some maybe heavier stuff up towards good speed a little further. Is that that island that's called like, what is it, like Dead Man's Island or something like that? Yeah, it's full of uh, unexploded ordnance. They used to use it as a bomb testing site. Right. What's it called? Is it called Dead Man's? Or what is it? It's something like that. I don't know. Some ominous name. So I think we're going to go for that gap there. That should put us in between these two moderate cells, and then that way we end up staying well ahead of that. That's actually, that's pretty cool there, that just stark contrast between nice and sunny weather here and dark and stormy weather there. Not very often I end up picking my way through precipitation VFR. Well, it's strange because it's November eight, four, perfect eight, right over here. Right. November Delta. Where approximately are you going to over there. Rock Island from? There's, we're currently showing weather. You've seen Luke a lot. Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, so Luke is a PhD student at MIT. Flies, I don't know, what do you, what do you fly? Uh, mostly these days I'm flying a bird dog and a Piper Pawnee and a Cessna 182, a little bit of everything, the hodgepodge. If it has wings, I'll fly it. And uh, you've flown some pretty cool, like, historical aircraft. Yeah, I lucked out and I grew up flying antique airplanes. My first flight was in a 1946 Aronka Champ. And then uh, the coolest airplane I ever flew was a B-17. Got to fly a B-17 from the middle of Oregon up to Seattle, Washington. It was a uh, good little adventure. We were IFR most of the way. And so, like when you say you got to fly, like what do you like? I was left seat flying, and then because I knew the guy who flies uh, aluminum overcast, the EAA's B-17, and so uh, he was right seat, and he let me fly left seat until we were about didn't let me land it, but uh, we were right. probably on a five. Well, I'd say we were about five miles out by the time they swapped me out again. So pretty excellent. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really cleared up now. We got past all the weather, and now it's just a, a clear shot. We got Long Island Sound out there. The Connecticut River just runs up here, uh, right to uh, East Haddam. And uh, the Goodspeed Airport, we got the Goodspeed Theater. We'll throw some gear and flaps down. And it, what's your gear speed again? 153. Oh, Impressive. So there's the airport there just peeking out from behind the trees. A little hard to spot coming from this direction, especially like it. Okay, so there's the airport on the left there. We got the river down here. Really cool little approach. Got some guys on boats. Goodspeed traffic in the seminar to pop flood base, uh, three two for uh, good speed. Great Barrington, uh, Cardinal uh heard you Caution say, please. Terrain. Terrain. You know there's an airport. Roger. Thank you. Caution. Terrain. Terrain. Caution. Terrain. Terrain.
Nice little wind shear there going through the trees. Gears down. Pretty cool little approach there with the uh, bridge on the end. That's awesome. It's really fun just coming in over the bridge or taking off over the bridge at night. That's kind of fun. area here will give you a little view along the river. Really pretty area. It's really nice at sunset, but we don't have time uh, to stick around that long today. Next time. Or check out my Instagram, at Matt Guffmiller, to uh, get a photo of what, what this place looks like at sunset. One Zulu. So yeah, we're just gonna make a quick little three, stop over here three, to Chester zero. to and grab some one, fuel two, and none. then head back. Ability more than one zero. It looks like uh, this end of the runway is just on a little cliff. And Chester traffic been in the seven hotel pop. This is final runway three five, Chester. Okay, gears down, props full forward, mixture's rich. Speed is good. It was good. So we got that. We'll be okay. Nothing like a little wind shear to keep things interesting. What an odd little airport. There's just hills and berms everywhere and cliffs and... Right. <laughs> and a white picket fence. I think I saw the fuel pump over this way. Yeah. I like that they have these little picnic tables, so that's kind of a nice touch. Yeah, it's a cool little airport. Weird, but... 
Yeah, what's with these? Uh, like, yeah, I'm, white I've cone. never seen white cone runway markers before. I've seen white lights, yellow cones. Never, uh, white cones. Cool little airport. Yeah, lots going on here. So this is Chester, Connecticut. Got some fuel, and now we're gonna head back to uh, Minuteman to drop off Luke, and then I'll head home to Lawrence. What's the runway? Three two, three four, three five, three five, three five. So I had that right. Okay. Chester traffic, Bonanza Seven Hotel, Poppins, running runway three five, Chester. Yeah, we'll use every little bit of pavement we got here. Don't go off the cliff. Yeah. Little pothole there. Little drain. One on this side too. We're gonna miss that one. Okay, props full forward. That's good. Mixture's rich. Yeah, we got a slight left crosswind. Nuts, everything looks good. 60. And 65 will rotate. Got a nice little bit of wind shear there. Doing 95 knots and getting jerks of the stall horn. Uh, okay, so now we are direct. Minuteman will be there shortly. Now, now we're direct minute man. <laughs> we'll be there shortly. <laughs> uh, He's acting up again. That's two really cool airports that are right next to each other. Right. It's kind of neat. Turns Other out that Connecticut has the best airports in the country. Right. Well, it seems like good speed maybe has a little bit more going on around it, but I don't know. I don't know anything about Chester. Maybe it's just as cool. Well, Chester, come, Chester definitely has a better airport community. Right. It's pretty comfy back here. It actually is a lot more comfortable in the back than it is up here. Right. There's so much room. Especially when you're going through the water. Whew! Yeah, Minuteman, you're asking me if I'm going to tell Box Shore for I'll do one Minuteman. Okay, gear just down, prop full forward, that's good. Birch is good.
in the 367 Hotel Papa, 8 to the west with the Purple Stop. Hey, the 367 Hotel Papa, Lawrence Tower. Good afternoon. At your left base, runway 32, report a three mile base. Got a little rain here, but that's okay. Wind 360 at 7, peak gust 15. Wind 340, variable 040. The wind's shifting quite a bit here. Yeah, we're good. We're just a little bit fast, we're placing that off. That's, uh, first path looks good. But path looks good. Keep in just a little bit of extra speed here, actually, with the uh, rain and shifting winds. Thank you. 